If I snap the fingers though, is that your card there? No. No, but it is a good card, right? And if I spin it like this, you'll actually see the moment that it changes into <laughs> oh, six of clubs, right? Isn't that insane? You know what's even crazier though? If you watch that card, you can see the moment that it disappears and then it comes back. That looks so much better on this side, trust me. <laughs> Inside my hat, there is actually a card that I've kept in there the entire time, and that is your card. Yeah. It is. Oh, shy. <laughs> well done. Look at that, I got his watch. <laughs> He's got a check. Yeah. Anyway, what's up guys? Jason Marley, the Magician, and welcome back to the 365 Days of Magic Project, where I do a magic trick for you every single day. And today, today is day number 52. I don't have my trusty whiteboard to throw and have a smash effect, but I will put a smash effect in anyway. <laughs> now guys, today, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a trick. I actually learned this from Chris Ramsey's channel, and there's a tutorial on there, so you can actually go and check it out yourself. And it's one of those tricks that I can only really do if the camera's not set on a tripod. It has to be in motion, and you'll see why in a minute. So without any further ado, let's roll the stinger. Let's do a magic trick. All right, take number one. All right, here we are back with the trick, and today I'm gonna to show you a trick that I could only do if someone was holding the camera, because I want you to experience it for what it is. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Firstly, I'm just gonna get a card selected for me. In this case, it's going to be the Joker. There are two in every deck, I just need one. And uh, I'm gonna get Constantine, my cameraman, to pick a card. Beautiful, that one right there. The King of Spades, great choice. Now say stop wherever you want. Stop. Right there. Now you could have said stop anywhere, but you stopped me right about the middle-ish. And uh, you can even push it in. Beautiful. Now look at this. If I just shuffle these up and snap the fingers, you can actually see... Oh, <laughs> magic! <laughs> oh, you still... Oh, hey, bro. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that was the trick. And that was a classic take on Di Vernon's card to mouth. I'm not sure why I said Di Vernon's card to mouth there, because it's actually Dan White's card to mouth. Well worth a look, you can find him on Theory 11. Uh, anyway, back to the original video. <laughs> and, uh, and you can see there's a subtle change there where you start off with a joker in the mouth and that joker changes into the selection. It's a great way to do the trick and it gets rid of that awkwardness where you're standing there and you're mm, the cards in my mouth and this guy over here's already seen it and you're like shh and you're waiting for this guy to realize that the card's in your mouth, you know. It cuts that awkwardness completely out of the middle because the trick now has a beginning, a middle and an end. Anyway, if you want to learn that trick, I'll put a link in the description below to Chris Ramsey's tutorial. Uh, it's well worth a look, he's a very entertaining teacher. Are oh, you still recording? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now guys, while I've got you all here, my friend Constantine is actually trying to start his online journey and it's, it's daunting, it is such a hard thing to do. I mean, you've watched me grow throughout this 365 project and now you have a chance to see him, he's a violinist Look, I'm not going to say too much about it. Let's just take a look at a little clip that we filmed of him playing the violin at the uh, Botanic Gardens. And then, uh, yeah, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow for day number 53. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>